Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. As you can see today, I've been out in the woods and I've been hauling some oak logs, tree limbs out of my woods up here. And I uh, had a couple of red oak trees fall down, uh, one last year and one year before, and I'm pulling that wood out up, in, up into the woods here close to my house so I can cut it all up at once and it's all rounded up in one place. And I got a couple of questions here recently about lift capacity of a loader. This is probably not close to the lift capacity of my loader, but you can sure feel it on there. And I've got the brush hog on the back of the tractor to kind of offset it. But how do you determine when you're buying a tractor how much you can lift? Because there's a couple of specs, and if you're comparing one manufacturer that's giving you the spec for one place and another manufacturer giving you the spec for a different place, uh, you can get in trouble. And if you're a dealer, I can tell you from experience, if you tell somebody this is how much this tractor will lift, you can be sorely wrong and get yourself in trouble real quick. So let's talk today about lift capacity of front end loaders on tractors. And what spurred uh, this video is these two questions. Uh, first off, I have, uh, I'm an original owner of a, a John Deere 4710 compact tractor. I can only lift 2,000 pounds on the forks, but the specs say 2,350 pounds. If I place ballast in the rear tires, do you think I'll get close to the original? Uh, right now he has his auger when lifting. And then another question from Formula Firebird. He says a lot of people are confused about lifting specs. Tractor will lift X amount of pounds at the pin, etc. Have you done a video on what all the jargon means on tractordata.com? And if you want to find the lift capacity on just about any tractor, you can go to tractordata.com. And uh, I'm going to tell you today the two places that uh, loader specs are, are measured. All the manufacturers post one of these two specs. And those two specs are at the pin, in other words, where the loader pins on to the attachment, the pallet forks or the bucket, and at 500 millimeters. And so 500 millimeters is 19.685 inches for us in America forward of the pins. And then you have to take into consideration if you've got a quick attach on your tractor, that quick attach mechanism takes weight out of your lift capacity because you're lifting it when, when you lift as well. So it, it, it really makes it rough. Now let's, let's think about this. You're going to have more lift capacity the closer to the tractor you are. You're not going to be able to put a weight right on the pin right where the bucket attaches to the, the loader. So that really ought to be thrown out the door. We, we, we should never look at those specs. A more accurate uh, portrayal of what the loader will, will lift is that 500 millimeter or, or 19 and, and change inches forward of the pins. That's going to give you a, a better idea. But if you're looking at two tractors and one manufacturer is giving you what it'll lift at the pins and the other manufacturer is giving you forward of the pins, the one that's giving you the number forward of the pins is giving a more realistic uh, version of what the tractor will actually lift, but it's making his tractor look bad. So the manufacturers and dealers tend to quote that lift at the pins number and hope that nobody ever pushes it to the capacity. Well, on our John Deere 4710, uh, our problem is uh, the, the 4710 has 2,300 pounds of lift, lift capacity at the pins where the mainframe attaches to the pallet forks. So if you go further forward to the 500 millimeter number, your lift capacity drops to 1,705 pounds. So if he's picking up a ton of weight, he's doing pretty darn good because you not only have weight behind toward the pins, but you have weight that sticks out. This load of logs here, I've got one or two logs that are sticking out toward the front, and that's probably throwing my lift capacity off a little bit. Long and the short of it is, as a dealer, when you ask me how much will this tractor you're selling me pick up, it all depends on you know, what kind of load it is, does it stick out, what kind of ballast is on the back, what kind of ballast is in the tires. Are, are, you, are you lifting a large load off of a, a truck and trying to get it down to the ground and then move it, or are you just moving it around on the ground? Because the higher you go, the less lift capacity you have. So there are so many variables. One rule of thumb I always kind of took to heart. 
40 horsepower tractors like the John Deere 4710 and, and, and that frame size, not necessarily horsepower, but that size of tractor and the size of the tractor has more to do with how much it'll pick up that, than the horsepower. If you look at a 35, 40 and a 45 horsepower tractor on the same frame, most of the time they'll have exactly the same lift capacity because uh, the, the hydraulic pump size and the flow and all that has more to do with lift capacity than the engine size. So, if you have this size tractor, a TC40, 4710 deer, that size tractor, which is real popular, generally don't plan on it lifting a ton of weight, one ton, 2,000 pounds, uh, effectively. I, and I know this because one of the tractors, we sold a tractor when I was in the dealership that I worked at to this size to lift a ton of weight. And on paper it would do it, the spec said it would, in reality, it, was, it went to the local school and they were trying to lift uh, uh, reams of paper off a truck. And paper's heavy when you put it together like that. We had to go to the next frame size up, which is generally a 50 horse tractor or bigger. And they did fine at that size tractor. But the 40 horse generally lifting off a truck and down to the ground. Now moving around, it'll scoot it around okay. But lifting it up high, 40 a horse and that, that frame size tractor won't do it. Now, picking up round bales, probably can, as long as you're not trying to load them on a truck. If you're trying to load them up and stack them on a truck, you're gonna probably be disappointed with a 40 horsepower tractor and a 30 horsepower tractor is, is real tough. It'll, it'll just about scoot a small round bale around the ground. It won't lift it up very high. So it's hard to say how much weight that thing will pick up, but that's a rule of thumb. If you're looking for a gift for the tractor owner, go to my website right here. If you wanna to subscribe to my YouTube channel, thank you, I'd be honored. Hit the mic face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post videos. Here's a video about backing logs down a hill that you ought to watch if you're going to do what I'm doing. Thanks for watching.